This is the third video in this series where we're working with uh, Make Human Model in Blender. And in this video we're going to look at giving some hair to our model. And because the hair process is a little time consuming and very trial and error, I've already set a hair up. And we'll go to that later on. First thing I want to do with my model in this process is select all. Go into the mesh dialog and convert my faces into triangles. So I'll convert quads into triangles. And what this is going to do is give a whole bunch of more options as to the shape of the hair. It's also going to help Blender to um, assign weight values better when we come to the point where we're assigning our rigging. And I'm going to really do this roughly and not very carefully at all. So this isn't how carefully I would do this process. First off I'll select an area of the head that I want to be my hair. I'll shift duplicate it, drop it where it's at, and scale it to 1.01 .01 and make it just slightly larger. Then I'll use P and separate selected. Then I'll select everything in the mesh again, go back into the mesh dialogs, into faces, and convert triangles to quads. And this is the process that helps Blender to better assign weight values um, when it comes to the rigging. Uh, my discovery in, in parenting this, this mesh to rigging is that Blender seems to see it improperly. And without doing the process of converting quads to triangles and then converting the triangles back into quads, uh, you may get some extremely uneven weight dispersions when when Blender assigns weight values to different bones in the rigging. So I'll leave that topic alone and go on to the hair. I'll select that hair object, which I've only actually gotten half of her head, but we're just going to deal with that. Which was my oversight, and in edit mode I should have set the background geometry to transparent so that I was selecting through the model. But it's not a big deal, I'm just going to demonstrate the particle system anyways. First thing I'll do is I'll delete all of the materials off of my object. Then I'll tab into edit mode, add a new material, and go into the material button. I'll quickly assign a color, and I'm going to use some crazy colors. I'm going to use black for my hair color, or, or this really dark brownish color. Turn down the specularity and the hard. Add a new material, call it hair. I'm going to leave the map to color as pink. And then go into the texture. Um, I'm going to assign the wood texture. And the wood texture I found actually works quite nicely in on a hair simulation. And that's our freaky color. And it'll just show off what the, the material actually does for our material. So I'll go back into object mode, into the object buttons, and then into the particle buttons. I'll add a new particle system, call it hair, set the emitter to hair. I'll set a basic amount between four and five thousand. Set the random function. And in order to get the hair to grow out of that hair object, we're going to increase the normal value. And each time we increase that value, the hair will grow out. And also bring the random up a bit, and that will scatter the hair around. And from here, we can set this hair to editable, and I've made a hair, short hairstyle. And press the N key to call up the particle edit properties and we need to be in particle mode and this will turn all of the hair strands into vertices and make them styleable and we can comb them or 
puff them, cut them, make them grow with the different tools. And I'm not going to attempt to do a hairstyle. For one thing, I only have half a head of hair. And, <clears throat> well, I guess in some of the nightclubs that would be perfectly normal, but we would just manipulate around and I could say that looking at the model from different angles and bringing the hair inwards in small changes will be very helpful and trying to keep changes small and zooming in and giving little grabs and sort of circular motions with the hair grabbed will help to make an interesting hairstyle. Now let's call up the camera really quickly. So I'll call up my camera, have a look through that, go into object mode so I can pan around. And we'll just try to excuse the half a head of hair and find a way around that. So I'm going to move my camera around until I'm on the other side of her. And render that. And this is more or less the way that the wood sits onto the model. And we can change this appearance now that we've uh, turned this object into a particle object. So we'll go back into the material buttons with the hair selected and have a look at what settings we can change. And in the map input, we can change this to strand. And by changing it to strand, it's going to change this to a solid color and just show the the map to color. And when we render it, we should get a completely different look now. So we'll render that frame. And that puts the texture onto more of an individual strand and creates a really excellent element of um, like highlights to the hair and gives it a very natural look. And we could also change the quality of that by adding, having the texture map to the reflectiveness. And this should add a small amount of reflectivity to the hair and sort of brighten it up and give it a more lifey appearance. And that's more or less the rundown on how to do the hair. And it's going to take some time and patience to get a decent hairstyle and to get a nice look to it. I'm going to close down this instance of Blender and look at my other one where I have a hairstyle with a little bit of work put into it. And we'll just render that and have a look at it. Now I've gone for more natural colors. Uh, I used a quite a light color for my base material and then quite a dark color for my map to texture color. Used the wood uh, texture and map to the strand and spent a little bit of time combing it around to get it into a half decent shape and I was got, got kind of lucky with the colors that they matched up so nicely with the eyebrows and that's something to consider how well the hair matches up with the eyebrows because black eyebrows and green hair isn't going to look so normal. Well green hair isn't going to look normal either way but and other than that my settings on this are entirely the same and mostly I just combed around the head, flattening it down and trying to be patient. And one thing to be certain of is don't assume that in the editing area it's going to look much like the render. Because in the editing area it doesn't look like very much. And I would suggest doing a lot of test renders, making small changes, do a render to see what happened. Because it could take a while to get a hang of the difference between the way this looks in edit mode and the way it looks on a render, which are, in my experience, two completely different things. So that's it for this video. In the next video, we're going to get right on to the rigging. So until then, happy modeling.